Jason Christensen. I'm the president and CEO of Rigid Industries. In the lighting industry, it's, it's crazy to think, but there are so many copycats. We continually are designing new products, uh, new parts um, that we try and protect as much as possible. Uh, we file as many design patents as we can, and uh, we are continually fighting that battle. It's very, very tough. Um, because you can change just a little bit and, and make a gray area there. But, you know, we do as much as we possibly can in, in all of our new designs in creating that IP so that we have a foothold. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a tough process. That's something we continually struggle with. Being a linear-based system, we, we have anything from a 4-inch light all the way out to a 52-inch light. Um, with that, IP is protected within that series of lights. So it's, and there might be 17 or 18 different products within that product family. Um, all the same IP is, uh, is covered in all of those 17 or 18 products. And we're trying to design as much IP into that as we possibly can for production. Um, whether it's the way we cool something, maybe the way the circuitry is designed, our optic, um, maybe the way it's put together. So you try, and, you try and develop as much IP as you can into a new product so that you do have that protection. So when somebody does try and come out with something that's extremely similar, or uh, maybe it's a true copycat or a, a, a forgery, we have, we have that, that, that foothold to be able to stand up and say, hey, wait a second, you guys are doing this, and you're not allowed to because of this. The big problem we have is, is a lot of the, the offshore-based companies that they don't really care about the USIP. We have a company offshore that is, that is selling product that uses our name. Um, I've seen a box with our logo on it, copying some of our videos that we've done. They use our pictures. They uh, use our light graphs. They've copied our catalog. I've seen our instructions, our wiring harness, our switch, um, absolutely everything. Your knee-jerk reaction is, I'm flying over there and we're going to have a sit down. That you, that's just not something you can do. They really don't care. And this is one company, and there's two or three of those companies that we deal with. We're very, very diligent on, on keeping up with that. Our Distribution base will contact us immediately if they find somebody that is selling something in the States, yeah, even in Canada for that matter. A little bit harder to enforce some of that uh, on the worldwide market than it is domestically. Um, anybody that we find, we automatically send a CND to, and we, we very much respect other people's IP. We definitely are focused on making sure that we don't step on anybody else's toes. Uh, I think we did once. Um, we immediately stopped, and uh, we changed our design. And I sent a nice apologetic letter with, you know, a nice gift card, and, and, and we were all good after that. They knew it was an honest mistake. We weren't trying to be deceitful or, or hide anything. That's not the type of company we are.